Hi, it's Oz Lily. You're Australian in Austria. It's Monday, still morning, yes. Perhaps you thought I promised that I would be back at 10 o'clock this morning. It's one and a half hours later. I've been working on what I was talking about. And no, I'm not ready yet. I'm not finished, but I'm going live anyhow. It's the 15th of August, which is a public holiday in Austria, the Assumption of Mary. And the United Nations is open. So I'm going to the UN this afternoon for my massage. My masseur works at the United Nations a couple of days a week when she's giving massages, but she doesn't work for the United Nations. She works for the people who work at the United Nations. And I too have adopted that motto, serving the people who serve the world. That is the motto that the UNFCU, the United Nations Federal UNFCU Credit Union ha uh, has that motto, serving the people who serve the world. And I love that because that's what I believe in. I believe in serving the world and serving you in that way, educating, sharing with you. Today is not Dream Job UN and it's not learning by doing. It's Monday morning, so it's just a, a live. And it was last week that I got so inspired. Joseph and I work together every morning. We, we pray together, we read together. And the text that we read on that day that I went live, whether it was Friday or Thursday, I don't even remember when, I was just so inspired because what, what I'm working on is myself, my, okay, visibility, because I'm a communication and motivation trainer. Okay, so I'm living in Austria. I have done English communication training and my focus at the moment is um, a mentor for people who want to work at the UN and basically a motivations trainer for people who want to get into that area. So it covers a lot. It's, it's mentoring for whatever you actually need. However, I haven't defined all that on my homepage, my, my business page, because I'm not focusing on my business. I'm just doing what I do. And I can't help myself but want to share with what I believe, how I feel we can help one another. My philosophy that we are interdependent and that I believe in mutual prosperity and universally shared values. These last few days, a lot of my friends and colleagues have gone to Korea, to Seoul, to events commemorating the 10th anniversary of the passing of the Reverend Sun Young Moon. Many of you, most of you, some of you, maybe not all of you know, Reverend Moon is my guru who I've been following for 47 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Longer than, yes, than double the time that of my age when I first met the unification movement. And I was determined I'm not going to be proselytizing, trying to preach or convert, because firstly, I believe that everybody has their place and we learn from one another. However, however, these unification teachings have inspired me so much and have given me so much insight that I, I have to share it with you. I can't keep it to myself. And there were some very, very exciting and interesting content that we, that we read last week that I just, that made me think, okay, maybe my Mondays I'll use to share my philosophy, my beliefs. And originally I thought I wouldn't have time today because typically on a Monday morning, we are involved in 
in community meetings at six o'clock in the morning, at eight o'clock in the morning, and that usually goes till after nine. And last week I had other meetings going on in the morning, so I really wasn't sure. 10 o'clock is my time that, I, that I've dedicated myself to go live. So that's what I wanna do. However, I don't really necessarily want to make them very long. I want them palatable that you can just listen and be inspired. Okay, so that was my idea. And the concept is let's grow together. We, we all have our life experience, our beliefs, our faith, our concepts. Yet we really do belong together. Otherwise, why would you bother listening to me? We can learn from each other. We can grow together. We use social media to communicate, to share. So that's what I want to do. That's what I wanted to share with you. And I'm working on optimizing my blog, my homepage, my personal homepage. I've kind of hidden away my private blog homepage, which I've been running for years because I've been focusing on setting up my business. I can't separate it. I can't just focus on getting clients for money because I'm a passionate world changer who does it automatically with how I live, how I share, how I talk in what I do. And I felt a little bit, not intimidated, um, um, you know, uh, locked in that I, I couldn't expose myself. I felt that I'll think of the word when I watch the replay, I know it. Uh, and um, I just want to be able to talk to you about my activities in Women's Federation for Toastmasters for my church community. Yesterday I did the, the opening prayer at our interreligious service and so many people came up to me afterwards to thank me. And I was so moved to be chosen to give that prayer because it was recognised that I have this world vision. And I hope that part of the service was also recorded and I'll be able to get an excerpt. And what I want to do for my homepage is start posting some of that stuff that I've already done as a testimony to my life. Hey, I'm not going to live forever. I'm realizing more and more yesterday, my mother's first anniversary of passing and I'm grateful for everything I've already done and there's so much more possible and I don't want to hide it away I don't want to keep it secret I want to share it with you I want to inspire you I want you to know of all the good that is already out there and and let's let's show and share and give of the good and multiply it. Okay, so it was a bit late. I posted my video on Facebook, I believe, last night about the trophy that I got for being the area director of the year in 2018 19 in my Toastmasters district division, dis, division F, district 109. And from 33 areas, I was. honored to be the area director of the year which was based on the statistics and when people asked me how did you do it well i've noticed on the records that are, that are still available to us which i also want to help fix that typically many of the offices in the area division clubs and district 
were lone wolves working on their own, trying to solve their problems. I set up a team and I never felt it was enough. But I did call on my team for support to help me. When I went to Australia at a time when it was the time for the area director to visit the clubs and I asked my deputy to visit a club on my behalf. It was so great to have that cooperation, that teamwork. It's not the only thing I did, but it's one thing that I know contributed to getting the results that we got that notched us up into the, the best club, the best area in the whole of District 109. And teamwork is so important. So that means communicating and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm passionate about. That's it for me now and I'll see you next time.